Hey, what's up everybody? It's that guy Skimpy. Hey, I'm about to head over to my buddy Dave's house and uh, we're gonna do a jig pouring seminar. Uh, it's pretty much for the club that I fish with, Lakewood Master Bassers, but uh, we have some other friends and family coming as well. And uh, yeah, so we're gonna set up a couple pour pots, pour jigs, we're gonna paint them, we're gonna skirt them and everything. So uh, yeah, I'm on the way there now, so here we go. All right guys, thank you for coming. This is gonna be the first uh, jig making session. We got, we got a couple different molds here. Uh, we have brush jigs, actually in two different sizes, from really small to really big. We have a football head jig, um, it has a flat, flat bottom on the head. It's actually pretty cool. And then we have uh, an arky head. We actually have two different kind of arky heads. Um, first of all, what we do is uh, we want to be safe. So when we're pouring the lead, we want to make sure that we have gloves on and eye protection. And uh, what we're going to be doing is we're actually going to be using a ladle and putting it in. So uh, first of all, what we're going to do is we're going to smoke the mold. And what smoke the mold means is, and if you notice on here, you can see that it's, there's like a lot of soot and stuff on there. Uh, the reason why I smoke the mold is it helps that the lead, you know, it fills the cavity and it also helps release the lead. So, uh, can I use you? Yeah. Okay. So pretty much, go ahead and light the candle. This is my lovely assistant. This is my lovely assistant. Vanna. So. Okay, so no. here I want to uh, you do it. So all you're gonna do is here, I'm gonna go do it first. Okay, so what, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna kind of go over each cabin. And I just want to I just want to get it nice and black and get all the soot in there. And like I said, what that does is it helps them. it helps fill the cavity and it also helps release the lead once it's in there. So I'm gonna do that on all of these molds and then we will continue on. Here to the hook. Helps the, uh, well, yeah, and then it helps the paint here to no, the lead on the jig. No, no, no. Oh, yeah, yeah, no, I'm just saying, I got, I got, yeah, this is just, and then the, um, <laughs> stuff I've changed over the years. Yeah, no, no, I'm gonna make sure. The weed guards, when do you put the weed guards in? Before you pour? After. After? Yeah. So you just put a peg in there for now to make the hole. Okay, so uh, Monty's gonna go first. If you want to go ahead, put some gloves on. And you're gonna put some uh, eye protection on. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna put the mold on top of here. The reason I'm gonna put it on top of here is because I want the mold hot. Once the mold gets hot, the lead can get in there a lot easier. Okay. Oh. Okay, so what we're gonna do is, because all of these molds are weedless, they're gonna take a weed guard. So that means we need to put a pin in there because we need to put a hole in the jig when you pour it to be able to put the weed guard in later. So Wait, here, see, you have to get us some light over here next time. Okay, so then if you, yep, you are, you can see it right there. That's correct. If you notice right here, do it was nice enough to tell you the recommended sizes. For example, your half, half ounce is recommended four. You can do three, four, or five. Okay. So you said you wanted five, right? Okay. So these hooks right here are from Dua Molds. These are all VMC hooks. What you're gonna do is you're gonna put it yeah, right in there. And I know I'm touching it without gloves because it's not super hot right now, but it will get hot. So now go ahead and shut the mold, hold it tight. And then, just like you uh, pour, you just pour it right in. If I didn't mind, I can't hold that shit out there to hold a bigger hook. All right. So now, you just put it down. Half ounce, why would you want this one? Why want it? And what I do, I don't grab it by the hook, I grab it by the sprue. By the what? Sprue? I don't know, what do you call it? Kind of, kind of, wait a little, little bit, and that's... Me by the screw. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so uh, if you notice, you still have 
the weed guard pin in there. You're just gonna take the pliers and you're gonna gently kind of wiggle back and forth. And it takes out. So now you have the hole in the jig, okay? And, and then what I do is I take the sprue here and I take it and I wiggle it just real little, like a loose tooth, and it just comes off. If you notice that there is a little slag left on there, and my assistant Tyler was going to give me some the grinder, and you just grind it off. Right. So you have a little file, and what I do is I just kind of go like this. Sometimes it's more. And then yeah, there might be little scratches, scratches or whatever. But once we paint it, it's good. Okay. So now he's gonna go right down. No. Yeah. Looks like that all the way down. You just need a, a tiny little bit. And like I said, I don't have a lot of and look at the You're a little bit skinny. No. That What's up guys? 
if you want to shoot your video, you're probably good. Go ahead and do it quick one. Shake it. Make sure your eyes good. Pull the pin. Eyes good. What color? What colors do you want? You see? Just let you guys know, I do have. They have the big board, but it's only 10 inches. Yeah. I use those for building nuke uh, boxes, and I'd be able to color it. Dollar and more better. So now I've got all that, so I need to put it into my clothes. So I might be able to grind it off and put it into the band room. I'm going to get a little bit of a clutch here. It's like a game that's fucking hard. Alright guys, what I'm going to do is, I'm going to preheat the oven to 350. So we're going to slide it in, we're going to make sure that none of them are touching. Spread them out a little bit. And we're gonna set the oven to 350 and we're gonna bake for about 20, 30 minutes. Boom. There you go. All right, so we mixed up the epoxy. Yeah, dude, we gotta. And we put on the weed guards. Trying to put it on. Trying to put it on. We're getting it there. Okay. Maybe a little bit too much. Make sure it goes in the hole. Sometimes you got to push it all the way down. How you doing there, Dennis? Everything good? I got the box to set. It would be good. Okay. <laughs> Wyatt, everything good? Good. Okay. Sure. We're also making skirts here. He was cool. I was talking. Look at that one. Nice. Finished product here. Nice. nice. Yeah. What do you got, white? I still gotta cut mine, but we can do a black and blue. Yeah, a little bit black and blue. I like this one. Good little crawdad color, crawdad imitator. Heck yeah. Football head, bluegill. Bugs over here. Heck yeah, good work, yeah, man. These will be good. Thank you, Delano. <laughs> <laughs> It'll be nice. Yeah, right? Oh, you don't have to be here, guys. Please, I was late. Nice. Yeah. This one, a little purple and black. Nice. All right, so there it is, man. There was the uh, jig pouring seminar that I did. Uh, I, I'm not sure how many people were there, but uh, we had a, a, a great turnout and uh, everybody made their own jigs. Everybody had fun, nobody got hurt, and it was, uh, it was a good fun time. I appreciate everybody who helped out um, in here. Uh, Big Ant, I appreciate you helping film. And uh, Tyler, man, I appreciate you uh, helping everybody. You know, when I was talking to these people over here, you were talking to these people, showing people how to paint and all that good stuff, man, I appreciate that. All right, guys, well, thank you for watching. Uh, hopefully you liked the video. All right, that guy Skimpy, please subscribe. Big shout out to Dual Moles.